I'm Jacqueline Canal, and our topic today is non-judgment. A big topic, but a really important one. You know, they say that to heal a war or to end a war is when we can actually look into someone else's eyes and hold their gaze and see what's there. They say that for healing, can we look into our own eyes? Could we gaze at a mirror and look into our eyes and hold our gaze and extend compassion and love and forgiveness? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a really wonderful exercise that you could try at home to spend a little time and look at yourself in the mirror. At first, it's not easy if you haven't tried that before to really gaze into your own eyes. But don't run away. Stay and look into your gaze and extend love. Stay and look and feel. Our exercise today is going to be doing that, but with our eyes closed, in case you don't have a mirror. But you can do this with your mirror as well, and I really recommend it. This is a practice of self-love, because when you come into self-love, when you feel that more and more, then you can practice non-judgment for yourself and for others. We take a little time to settle in, and you can actually, let's do a little shake off. So shake off your arms, shake a little bit, whether you're seated or standing, and just take a moment and move off the energy of tension, move off the energy of even tiredness, move off the energy if you're feeling uh, a little bit angry or upset with someone, move it off for a bit so that you are able to settle and be more clear and come to a seated position. Let your spine rise so that you have room for the breath. Let your shoulders go broad and spacious. And you'll find when you fill up on the inside, you can actually soften your shoulders a lot more. So let your shoulders release. This is a place that we hold so much tension, especially when we're, we're judging or we're in situations that are difficult. So fill up on the inside with brightness, with fullness, with love, and soften your shoulders. Let this be your time to come into a place of self-love. And if you haven't done it before, give yourself this opportunity. With your eyes softly closed or gently gazing at yourself in the mirror, Let's say the words to ourselves, say the words to yourself that perhaps you wanted others to say. You can say them to yourself now. I love you. You are beautiful. You can do this. I believe in you. So, with your eyes closed or gazing into your mirror at your own eyes. Let's say the words to ourself that we would love to hear. I love you. I care about you. I believe in you. You can do this. I'm proud of you. I forgive you. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are powerful. You have this. You are loving. You are compassionate. I'm so very proud of you. I'm happy that you are here. You make a difference in my life. Your contribution matters. You matter. I love you. 
Let these affirmations land so that you feel them. Breathe into them so that you actually know them at a feeling level. Bring them in, breathe them in, feel. When you can do this practice of self-love for yourself, you can also do it for others. When you can be there fully for yourself, you can be there for others. When you can show yourself compassion and give yourself a chance, all of us make mistakes. All of us make mistakes. And really, we are who we are not in spite of our mistakes, but because of them. So we allow ourselves to make mistakes. We allow others to make mistakes. And we bring ourselves back to a place of self-love where we can be understanding, compassionate. That doesn't take us out of our power. Our power is still there. But we are able to understand, to express love, to express worthiness so that we know we are able to show that others are worthy just as we acknowledge our own worth, our own value. So take a moment and really gently take the back of your hand and touch your face sweetly with compassion and let it remind you that you are loved and you are valued. Do it on the other side. Take your hand and really gently touch your face and let it be a reminder that you are loved and you are valued. And when you need a reminder with others that you practice non-judgment, touch your heart and remember that you can extend love. Remember that they are also worthy and valued. I hope these techniques will serve you to be able to, in your day and in your life, be able to practice non-judgment and really to enjoy the freedom that non-judgment brings.